This presentation, Confidentiality and Release of Information, is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrars Association Education Foundation. During this presentation, we will define the term confidentiality and its relationship to cancer registries. We will summarize the laws of confidentiality and discuss the role the cancer registrar plays in maintaining confidentiality. And finally, we will identify when and why cancer registries release cancer information. Confidentiality of patient information dates back to Hippocrates and the Hippocratic Oath taken by all physicians. What I may see or hear in the course of treatment or even outside of treatment in regard to the life of men, I will keep to myself. Cancer data is highly confidential and it is critical that all cancer registry staff maintain that confidentiality. Registrars have access to the cancer patient's medical record to gather information and abstract the data into the cancer registry database. Data is sent to reporting agencies such as the State Central Registry and the National Cancer Database. This is performed through a secure website that the cancer registrar must log into before transferring the data. Cancer registrars can exchange diagnostic and treatment information with registrars from other facilities that have also diagnosed and or treated the same patient. One of the first federal laws to protect patient privacy was the Privacy Act of 1974. It allowed individuals to access records about them that are maintained by federal agencies. The federal agencies could also collect and release information about individuals. In 2003, the Health Information Portability and Accountability Act, also known as HIPAA, was enacted. Part 164 of HIPAA covers security and privacy. Registrars must be aware of these HIPAA legal restrictions and procedures. Cancer registry functions fall under the operating rules of HIPAA. These rules allow healthcare facilities to share with each other the first course of treatment and follow-up of a shared patient for healthcare operations. The American Recovery and Investment Act of 2009, or the Economic Stimulus Bill, addresses health information privacy, reporting, and notification of breaches of personal health data. According to this bill, registrars are required to account for disclosures of information when the patient requests it. Individuals in cancer registries can be subject to penalties if disclosure is improperly released, just like any other healthcare employee. Cancer registrars have a major role in maintaining the confidentiality of patient information. The data they abstract from the medical record into the cancer registry database is encrypted when it is submitted to an outside organization such as the State Central Registry and NCDB. If a request for data is released for study purposes, cancer registrars ensure that any identifying information, such as the patient's name and Social Security number, is stripped away before releasing the data to researchers. Cancer registrars also protect patients during cancer conferences or tumor boards by not using their names on any written documentation or during the discussion. Cancer registries release information for several reasons. As noted previously, they submit data for state and national reporting. Data such as treatment outcomes and long-term survival can be used for cancer care improvement studies. Data can also be used for regional, state, or national benchmark comparisons. A patient's follow-up status of alive or deceased is used to calculate cancer survival statistics. Under the operating rules of HIPAA, the Cancer Registry may permit the release of confidential data to other treating hospitals for the purpose of patient follow-up. A confidentiality policy and procedure should be written and approved by the hospital's cancer committee. Data may also be released for administrative planning of patient care services, which may include justification of new diagnostic equipment, treatments, physician recruitment, and clinical trials offered. During this presentation, we defined confidentiality as information we need to keep to ourselves. Cancer data is highly confidential, so there are laws and rules that regulate its use. HIPAA allows the cancer registry to release treatment and follow-up information with other facilities that have diagnosed and or treated that shared patient. Cancer registrars ensure that names and other identifying information is not included in reports, studies, or stated at cancer conferences. The Cancer Registry is mandated by law and accreditation requirements to release patient cancer information when appropriate, 
such as submitting their data to their state central registry. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, go to www.ncraeducationfoundation.org. For more information on the cancer registry profession, go to the NCRA website at www.ncra-usa.org.